queridos amigos, and welcome to Learn Spanish World. My name is Mr. Briggs, and today I will be showing you how to use the verb tener in the Spanish language. Now, tener is a key verb. Why do we say that tener is a key verb? We say it is a key verb because it is one of the most used verbs in the Spanish language. So, keeping in mind that tener is one of the most used verbs in the Spanish language, we can actually clearly see the benefits of learning how to use this verb effectively. The two most widely verbs in Spanish are ser and estar, which means to be in Spanish. Now, after ser and estar, tener is the most used verb. So, this is why it's so important for us to learn how to conjugate the verb tener and how to use it. Tener means to have. I can imagine that now you can see why this verb would be so useful. How many times a day do we use to have? Um, I have I have money, I have a car, I have a headache, I have to go, or I have so many things to do, and so on. So we use this verb on a regular basis every single day in English, and in the same manner, we use tener on numerous occasions throughout the day in Spanish. So this is why it makes sense for you to learn this verb. Okay, now, tener belongs to the er types of verbs. We said that there are three types of verbs in Spanish that we've been studying. Ar, er, and ir. That basically means that tener belongs to the er verbs. Look at the last two letters, e and r. So this would be an er verb because it ends with an er, tener. Whereas hablar, which we learned last time, would belong to the r verbs, ar, because hablar ends with an a and an r. Okay, so you get that? Tener, er, ends with an e and an r. And this is the infinitive of the verb, which is the basic form of the verb. It hasn't been conjugated. Tener means to have. So we don't talk like, I to have a headache, I to have a car. Um, it would pretty much um, be understood, but it would sound pretty odd. Well, in the same manner, we don't use I tener carro, uh, yo tener dinero. What we do, we actually have to conjugate the verb. And this is what we are going to learn today. Okay. So, let us conjugate the verb tener together in its present form, okay? Present tense. Yo tengo. That means I have. Yo tengo. Tú tienes. That means you have. Now, notice here, before we proceed any further, I want you to direct your attention to this formula for the er verbs, the er verbs. We've got o es, e, hemos, eis, en. This is the formula that we use for the verbs that end with an e and an r, an er verb. So in this case, whenever you're talking in the first person, I have, the verb will always change. You will, will drop the er at the end. So the verb in this case will always end with an o, always, whenever you're talking about yourself. Yo, Tengo. So you wouldn't say yo tener. That would be pretty much like saying I to have. So we don't want to do that. We want to conjugate the verb properly. So you would say yo tengo. Look at the formula. The O for the first person. Next one. Tú tienes. You have. Notice the last two letters. Es. Tú tienes. So whenever you're talking about you, you would end the verb with an ES. Okay, so let's continue. El, ella, usted tiene. El means he, ella means she, and usted means you formal. This is how we abbreviate usted in Spanish. An U and a D and a dot. That means usted. So if you wanted to say he has, we would say el tiene. Look at the last word, an E. Ella tiene, she has. Usted tiene, you, in formal way, have. You have, usted tiene. 
Let's move on to the next one. Nosotros tenemos. That means we have. Nosotros tenemos. Notice the ending. Hemos. Next one. Vosotros tenéis. Finally, we got ellos, male. Ellas, female. Ustedes, which means you all in plural. Ellos tienen. They have. So we're talking about some men. Ellos tienen. They have. Ellas tienen. They have. But we're talking about females. Ellas tienen. And finally, ustedes tienen. That means you all have. And we also abbreviate the word ustedes in Spanish with an U-D-S. That means ustedes. Okay. So now we are going to conjugate it without stopping or without giving any explanations. Are you ready? Here we go. Listen to my pronunciation and repeat it. Repeat. Yo tengo. <clears throat> Yo tengo. Tú tienes. Él tiene. Ella tiene. Usted tiene. Nosotros tenemos. Vosotros tenéis. Ellos tienen. Ellas tienen. Ustedes tienen. Perfecto. Now we are going to see some examples and we learn how we can use the verb tener. You'll see and you will be surprised at how useful this verb actually is. This is the verb tener. Tener means to have. And just like in English, we use tener whenever we're talking about possession. But we also use tener whenever we talk about age. In Spanish, you possess age. I know that may sound a little bit odd because we are so used to pretty much stating how we are. However, in Spanish, you are not your age like in English. But in Spanish, you possess age. For example, I say to you in English, I am 30 years old. But in Spanish, I would literally say that I have 30 years. So, keeping this in mind, we use the verb tener not only for possession, but also for age. So, if I wanted to tell you that I'm 30 years old, I would say to you, Yo tengo 30 años, which literally translated means, I have 30 years. Obviously, we cannot translate literally from Spanish to English and vice versa. If I said to you, Yo tengo 30 años, I would have to translate that as, I am 30 years of age. Okay, this verb is very important. So don't forget, we use it both for possession and age, just like we've seen in this example. But, just like in English, we also use it for possession. An example is, I have a car. Spanish, yo tengo un carro. Yo tengo un carro. So it indicates possession. It indicates that I possess a vehicle. Yo tengo un carro. And in this instance, we can translate it literally. Yo means I, tengo, have, un, a, carro, car. Muy bien. Let's see some examples that will help us understand how we can actually use this verb. Okay, so we can use tener um, for a lot of different things. For example, whenever we're talking about our age or um, talking about personal information, we can use the verb tener. For example, you can say, Yo tengo 20 años. That means I'm 20 years old. Yo tengo 20 años. Yo tengo... Ojos verdes. 
That means I have green eyes. Yo tengo ojos verdes. O yo tengo novia. I have a girlfriend. So we can see how useful this verb is whenever we're talking about personal information. You can use tener to state your age or ask about someone's age, to uh, talk about physical attributes, and to talk about your marital status. So, yo tengo 20 años, I'm 20 years old. Yo tengo ojos verdes, I've got green eyes. And yo tengo novia, I have a girlfriend. Yo tengo ojos verdes, I have green eyes. Okay, next one. Physical conditions and states. Tú tienes hambre. That means you are hungry. Tú tienes hambre. You are hungry. Tú tienes sed. You are thirsty. Tú tienes sed. Tú tienes calor. You are hot. And today is going to be a very hot day here in my city. It's going to be like 35 degrees. So I could say to you, if you were here standing next to me under the sun, tú tienes calor. You are hot. Next one. We use it to talk about health. Él tiene dolor de cabeza. He has a headache. Ella tiene fiebre. She has fever. Usted tiene gripe. You have the cold. Let's move on. We use tener whenever we talk about possession. Nosotros tenemos una casa. We have a house. Nosotros tenemos un piano. We have a piano. Now notice the article here. Una casa because the noun ends with an A. And un piano because it ends with an O. So whenever it ends with an A, we use una. And whenever in this case the word piano ends with an O, we use un. But that's for another um, video. For the time being, we're just learning to conjugate this verb. I thought I would actually throw in that additional information just in case you were wondering. Okay, so next one, number five, feeling like. Ellos tienen ganas de comer. They're feeling like eating something. Ellos tienen ganas de comer. Ellas tienen ganas de jugar. They feel like playing. Ustedes tienen ganas de jugar. You all feel like playing. So as you can see, this is a very important verb and we need to remember this verb because you'll be using it every single day in a Spanish country. Okay, let's see some examples as to how we can use this verb by asking questions to someone. In English, whenever we ask a question, we say, do you have, do you have money? Do you have time to talk? Do you have a car? Do you have children? Well, in the same way, in Spanish, we use tener in order to ask many questions. For example, whenever you're talking to someone, you can ask, ¿Tienes novia? Do you have a girlfriend? ¿Tienes hermanos? Do you have brothers? ¿Tienes hermanas? Do you have sisters? ¿Tienes hijos? ¿Tienes hijos? Do you have children? ¿Tienes hambre? Are you hungry? We already learned that in Spanish we don't say, are you hungry? But we actually ask, do you have hunger? I know it may sound a bit funny in English because we're not used to, because we don't simply ask somebody if they've got hunger. We ask, are you hungry? But in Spanish we say, ¿Tienes hambre? Which means, are you hungry? ¿Tienes un momento? Have you got a moment? Sometimes you may want to talk to someone and you want to ask them, hey, have you got some time to talk to me? ¿Tienes un momento? So as you can see, we can use this in many, many ways. ¿Tienes novio? Do you have a boyfriend? ¿Tienes dolor de cabeza? Have you got a headache? ¿Tienes un carro? Have you got a car? ¿Tienes ganas de ir al cine? Do you feel like going to the cinema? And so on. Muy bien, amigos. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoy it. 
If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. We'll be uploading more videos throughout the week. And if you want to revise this, watch it again, play it slowly, pause it, take notes, and try to benefit from all the information that we provided. There's other videos, other playlists that you can also check. If there's any questions, any comments, please leave them here in the comments, and I'll give you a shout out on my next video. Okay, amigos, have a good one. I'll see you next time. Adios. Subscribe to Learn Spanish World. We upload fun videos and easy lessons every week. Learn Spanish in just a few minutes each day by subscribing to Learn Spanish World. The easy, fast way to learn Spanish for free. Subscribe now.